Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to discuss our girl, Brittany Jean Spears. Born December the 2nd, 1981, 40 years old. Brittany is a Sagittarius, y'all. What y'all know about those Sagittarius? I don't know much about them. But um, we also going to be discussing her boo. Or should I say her fiance, Mr. Sam Asghari. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but regardless, I like the way I'm saying it, Asghari. Okay, so he was born March the 4th, 1994, which makes him 27 years old. He's a Pisces. A Pisces, okay. And then we got Brittany. She's a Sagittarius. She's 40. He's 27. Okay, Brittany, I ain't mad at you. He's a model actor. Look at him. I mean, they look happy, right? I mean, they having fun. They enjoying life, right? I mean, they may get a little ratchet every once in a while, but I mean, that's love, right? You know, a little ratchet love here and there. But all in all, to me, they look happy. But let's see. Let's see what the tarot cards say, honey. You, I mean, huh. it don't matter what I say. Because I love me some Britney, so I'm hoping the best for her. So, let's get started. Okay, Divine Angels, can you give me the best cards for Britney Jean Spears and her relationship with Sam Asghari? Let's see what we get. What we get. Look at Sam. Sam, I'm always ready for a photo. You can tell. You know, sometimes you can catch Britney off guard now. It's like, Britney, did you know that we was going to be taking pictures of you, girl? We ain't looking at Sam. We looking at you. We just so happen to see Sam. Now, Sam is nice to look at. Okay. We got soulmates. Okay. That's cute. Y'all soulmates. Yes, this is your soulmate. That is cute because they've been dating since five years. And so, he's been with her through, you know, I guess this conservative ship thing. But I'm like, I don't even quite understand what it was. It just seemed like her daddy was just trying to take her money. But I don't know. And control it. We got wedding here. Okay. Well, of course. That's the fiance. That's the next step. It's a wedding. So, the situation involves a marriage. Are they already married? Are they getting married? What's going on? We're going to find out. Playfulness. Okay. They have a lot of fun together. To recapture romance. Allow the inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And Brittany definitely been doing that. Because I don't think nobody got Brittany caught up to what's going on in 2021. 2021 okay Britney's still back in um 1996 and 2000 2001 you know preferably we need to bring her back somebody needs to call her let her know we got true love here are they so cute i mean i'm picking up good energy when i look at them and i'm not picking up but he is an actor and a model so he get paid to look good and he get paid to play games and to put on the act so, um, he could be fooling me, okay? But the cards are saying that what you're seeing is real, okay? This is true love. Let's see what else we have here. I'm going to pull a couple more cards. Very soon, very soon, this wedding is going to be hap happening. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you right now. What else can you tell us about angels, Okay. We got some codependency here, but of course we would, okay? Brittany just got out of the um, the holes and the grips of her daddy, and now she needs a new daddy, okay? He looks like Zaddy, okay? So, so we got some uh, addictions are affecting your romantic relationship. Codependency, so they could be codependent on each other, or, you know, he can be dependent on her money, she could be dependent on him to... To help and take care of her and guide her and get her back up to the 2021. Okay. But he been with her for five years. So he should have been updated her. But, you know, maybe um, maybe it's hard to tell a Sagittarius what to do. I don't know. But we have the codependency. So there's an addiction here. I don't know if they're saying some type of drugs, alcohol, uh, just codependent on each other. We're going to break it down, though. We're going to break it down. So let's see here. Let's break down. I'm going straight to this codependency right here. Because, you know, yeah, we want the juice. Because we know it's happiness here. But the codependency here is pretty obvious. I mean, so we're going to see. 
What can you tell us about this codependency? For Brittany and Sam. Okay. I just love when the energy is just so strong. And it knocks the car. And I really have this area kind of almost blocked off. So it's kind of hard to jump. But the car's the energy be so high. But we got the lover's card. Okay. So they are codependent on each other when it comes to loving each other. When it's love. Okay. Okay. Was that not the picture I just showed you guys? Them kissing and being a little ratchet. <laughs> but it's not ratchet. Brittany just needs to brush out her hair a little bit. And maybe if she's going to have the red boots on, just throw a splash of red on somewhere, you know. Or maybe different type of boots. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trying to judge the girl. I thought just judge the girl. <laughs> but we got the lover's card. So they're depending on each other in this relationship as far as lovers, okay? So it's a relationship that they're codependent on. Okay? They're depending on each other for love. And the main man, okay, he definitely codependent. You know, he needs a little change. Why not? It's Brittany. Okay, she is the cougar. She's a sugar mom in this situation. Okay, she got to play her role. She 40. He 27. Okay, you know, he acting and modeling, but, I mean, have y'all seen him in anything? So, but he's showing up as a lover, though. I'm not talking bad about him. I want to talk positive about him. Okay, because right now he's just showing up as a lover, but he's codependent on this relationship. So, okay. What else can you tell us about this main male? Okay. We got the house here. Okay. I got a warm feeling. It's like he's making her house feel like a home now. Okay, it's like, yeah, and he may be codependent. He need he need her for the for the house. Okay, as well, <laughs> it can work both ways. But I feel like they codependent on each other. Okay, he he providing uh, warmth and love in the relationship. She's providing the same, but also a big house. Okay, what can you tell us about this? What's happening very soon, man? Okay. What was that trying to pop out? Okay. I got a mature woman there. A mature woman card tried to pop out. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want. What? Can you tell us about very soon? What's happening very soon? That was pretty. Oh, my God. My cards be telling the truth, honey. They be on it. They be on it, right? Clarification for the clarification. So, very soon, a wedding, a marriage will be happening between these two. Very soon. Very soon it's happening, y'all. So, I hope the prenup is printed out. Okay, ready to go. Okay, put it in a cute little portfolio. And bring it on to the courthouse or wherever you're going. Okay, don't forget it, please. But... Okay, it shouldn't matter though, because if he loves her, that's he shouldn't be there for the money. But then he said he's 27 now. He could be with somebody who know how to wear those boots right. And and those little shorts right. Because Brittany, it, you know, she still looked the same, but you know, she just needs to update to her age. And I'm not saying that to defend or anything, but just, you know, she would look very beautiful and sexy as a 40-year-old woman dressed like a 40-year-old woman. Not like an old lady. Mm -mm. 40, honey. 40 is the new 40, honey. Claim that because Brittany, come through. 40 is fabulous. But, you know, you got to look elegant with your 40. Make 40 look elegant. Okay. Or you can still have your Britney style, but I don't think Britney know what her Britney style is because she's still going back to the days, back in the days. She's still wearing a wardrobe from her music videos. Girl, no. Girl should be in a museum somewhere on, or on Poshmark. Okay, let's find out more about this. Um, let's see. We, so, very soon, we already know a marriage is going to be happening here. So, I mean, what else do we need to know? Okay, this is a good reading. They look happy. They look playful. There's a little codependency here, but, I mean, we do depend on relationships. Okay, so let's find out more about this codependency. Look at me still digging. 
still digging for juice. I just want to know everything. It says, I like you. Okay, come through cards. Okay, someone likes you. Romance is blooming, flirting, want to date. So, yeah, it's just showing that they really do care for each other. They really do have a strong connection. They feel like this is a soulmate connection. So, that's why it this codependency may feel, may go hand-in-hand -hand with this soulmate connection. They feel like the connection is so strong. You could tell they may be attracted to each other. You know, um, they like to have a lot of fun together. They feel like this is definitely true love. Okay, what well, can you tell us about this true love card? I mean, what do we need to know? Very soon, a wedding and marriage is going to be happening. You know, you know it wasn't going to happen as long as the daddy was uh, in control of the thing. He, nobody was going to get that money but the daddy, okay? So, no wedding, no match was going to happen at that time, okay? So, we're going to let the conservative uh, ship ink dry for a minute, you know, and then they're going to sign the wedding certificate, okay? We got the cassette card here. I mean, outdated thinking. Yeah, that girl, very outdated. Look at me, just jump to the conclusion. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over... In your head. Okay. What was I clarifying? True love. Okay. Yeah. So some conditionally replaying events over and over in your head. Well, let's can you tell me about this true love. We got love. This is love, y'all. This is love. My cards are speaking so positive about this relationship. They said this is unconditional love, too. Think about it. You can just imagine how controlling the daddy probably was in that situation. And Sam still, he'd been there for, for five years. He didn't go nowhere. Okay. He proved the test of time. You know, and you know they wasn't going to get married. Okay. Not as long as the daddy was under control. But now that he's not, this is unconditional love. Okay. This is one is passion, affection, attraction. Like I just said, they are very much attracted to each other. Okay. Brittany is still a beautiful woman. Okay. Period. She just need to, you know, just, you know, get a stylist just to bring her up to date just a little bit. Pay the stylist for about a month and then you can let her go. Okay, we got st stability, security. Yeah, they give each other stability, security. They, this is love, y'all. This is, He is good for her. Okay, you can tell by the smile on her face. And you could tell by the smile on his face, too. Okay, yeah, he need a little change. Okay, yeah, he like enjoying living in the house. Okay, but he do love her. And he brings something to the table. He bringing love and companionship and some unconditional love. He That's what he's bringing to the table. Okay, now this marriage is going to happen, happen very soon. And since Brittany going to want a very nice ring, she probably be the one paying for it. But... He gonna be there right beside her, helping to pick out. Okay, yeah, he gonna be right there. He always right there. You best believe you're not gonna catch. He gonna be there. Okay, he there. He ain't going nowhere. Every picture. Every picture he by himself. Okay, and I mean she she with him. And even in the one picture where she was trying to be by herself, he still showed up. Okay, so he gonna be there. He ain't going nowhere. So, that's going to conclude the reading for Brittany and Sam. I wish them the best, okay? Well, I, I love true love, okay? My cards do not speak any ill will against them, okay? And that that proves that love is real in Hollywood, okay? All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.